a lot of startups should not get carried away in the money raising hype uh, and they should focus a lot more on building their products. Money will find you if you have a solid product that people need. I promise you. And uh, this is also ex ex uh, worsened by some of the recent news of startups, especially high profile ones, that more or less you know, shut down after many years of seemingly growth. And this, what this points to is what is fundamental is that you have a solution to a problem. And that solution to a problem, you need to build it in a way that it can scale. And what IMAP has done, what I have done with the company is, from day one, we have focused a lot on delivering solutions to our customers and ensuring that they pay us. What makes a company go bust is when the money that you make is less than the money that you need to survive. Hi, my name is Tosin Enelorunda. I am the founder and CEO of TMAP Limited, and this is Business Day Tech Bridge. What bootstrapping is about is growing your company little by little, as fast as you can, with the little money that you are making and putting it back into the business. So in the beginning, we I had the idea and we built something small and we we're fortunate enough to have our first customer pay us. What is fortunate and this is one of the strategies that companies can use in bootstrapping is you should get your customers to pay you up front. One of the biggest costs for technology companies are human resource costs. In fact, we don't sell any inventory. The only inventory we sell are brains. So it's how do you get brains to work with you when you don't have a lot of money to pay. It's one of the hardest parts. The experience from my former employer helped. Um, and I have, I have been an entrepreneurial person even before joining my employer then. Uh, and one, that's one of the things that I also advise people. Uh, I think, according to a book by Malcolm Gladwell, Outliers, that says that the summary of that book is time, chance, and be prepared. That's the summary of the book. The be prepared means 10,000 hours. It means that you should have at least for the craft that you want to get better at, that you want to blow at, you should have logged at least a minimum of 10,000 hours working on it. Then the next one is you need to be, be have the right opportunities and you need to actually, and the time needs to be right. So for me, um, I have actually gone through a lot of entrepreneurial training from school. I've built things, enterprises before I joined my employer then. So I didn't need to, I already had some in me. So that explains entrepreneurial. Next one is now product. So by learning my, my time there, you know, I got exposed. But of course, I didn't have all the knowledge. I just had a few understanding because I was just a programmer and a small product manager. So by the time you have a problem to solve, you have the ability to solve the problem and you have the means to solve it, and you have the mind to solve it, which is the entrepreneurial zeal, things start to form together. <laughs> Under the NDA that I have, I'll reveal as much as I can. Um, essentially, they funded us to more or less um, um, achieve the growth objectives that we have. I think something that is interesting about us to them is the fact that we have grown to this stage also without you know, any external help. I think that fundamentally shows some, something is right. Um, others can hide under the fact that they are raising capital. Nobody really knows what's under the hood. But uh, uh, the fact that they existed <laughs> without funds is, shows that something is right. I think that's an important fact to them. And also, uh, they also have a portfolio of companies that I believe that were also, you know, interesting to add to the whole portfolio. So um, the, it's to more or less, you know, fund our growth. Uh, and TMAPS, we are currently thinking global. Um, of course, before you think global, you should conquer your home. So, I mean, that's why we're focused here, but our mind is on global markets. And we believe that there are also some of the partners that we can more or less start with. I, I believe the, the, one of the challenges of, you know, the VC industry in Nigeria is as long as there's a better yield in other places, they will most likely be putting their money in those places. Um, in Nigeria, if you put money in real estate, you can more or less get the 100% yield in, uh, a 100% growth in three years. In fact, just putting your money in go government bonds can guarantee you 17% year on year, totally risk-free. So when people think about it, they begin to think about uh, 
I think I have better places to take my money, and that's one of the problems of Nigeria. But uh, the thing, however, with you know startup is it is risky, but it's also very high yield, and it takes people that have the understanding and the right skills and partnership to know how to mitigate those risks to more or less be comfortable with putting their money in those industries. Hi, my name is Tosin Yenelorunda. I am the founder and CEO of Timap Limited, and this is Business Day Tech Bridge.